Okay, here it is. A <laughs> crap guide to Final Fantasy XIV tanks. Uh, is it a loose pirate video? No. Oh. oh yeah, I still I still have to watch. Uh, is it um is it this one? Yeah, Lucy Pie. Like I had one already pulled up for when you guys sent it to me. Like I was gonna watch it on stream, and then I just ended up not doing it. But I'll watch this one first. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go. Uh, what screen. up, Warriors of Fartness? I bet oh you don't God. have the slightest clue how to play this eyeball melting oh anime my game. God. Oh, sure, you probably know that you can beat up enemies by clicking so, on them wait until a minute. they die, but do you wait know how to find a static in your so FC to help you prog uwu? I bet you don't even know what uwu. any of those words mean, so. Oh, look at these drawings. <laughs> Sit down, shut up, and eat your gizzo greens, because I'm going to teach you what thee may hap not know with thy new what is that Welcome outfit? to a crap guide to Final Fantasy. <laughs> What is that outfit? <laughs> the tank is the person in the front lines of every group, leading the charge to inevitable party wipes, which is because you are the most important person in the party, having slap fights with the boss since everybody else is way too squishy <laughs> to handle the post-pounding patty cake. You'll never see Jimmy's soft boots <laughs> eyeing up the cloud of darkness with his 2 by 4 and scriggly tree branch. But how hard can tanking be? Turn on your tank stance, do your 1-2-3 combo, and blame the healers when you die, right? That sounds like somebody who needs their short Q privileges revoked. Firstly, oh tank stance. You turn this on to start gaining enmity. What's enmity? It's where you shout at the bad guys, hey, hit me! They'll be paying attention to you so long as you're dealing damage, so you better be dealing damage and that not just having a staring contest if you don't me. then they're gonna start indiscriminately charging at the rest of the party like a dog in a movie theater if you are the designated main tank or in light parties the only tank make sure this is on if there is another <laughs> tank in the party and you are the off tank make sure this is off unless there's some other bad guys you gotta pull if you have conflicting stances with the other tank they will chuck their shoulder pads at you as a tank you should make sure the bad guy's ass is facing the party as often as possible as indicated by the bright glowing half-eaten donut underneath the target this is so that if the bad guy sneezes you're the only one getting down with the sickness and also if your party has anyone playing any jobs that particularly likes to clap them cheeks, you've provided a bright, shiny <laughs> spanking space. On top of this, as a tank, clap you are by them Hylian's cheeks, blessings horrible at dancing, which is why you should move as little as possible once you've got the enemy's attention. That way, the party can continue to whap the wumpus without having to chase down the bad guy's glorious booty. Just as well, because you have control of where the baddies are, you control how useful everybody else is. So if somebody puts down a useful AoE, stop fucking running away from it! Now that you have the baddies' attention and are in a nice, cozy, poking position, you don't have to worry about anything else, right? Ah, that's uh, what I thought you'd say, you dumb fucking horse! Believe it or not, when you uh, Die, it's not uh, entirely the healer's fault, just mostly rude. their fault. That little bit of responsibility you have is based on how well you can juggle mitigation. What's mitigation? It's the buttons that make the bad guy's slaps hurt less that you sometimes press once a subscription and never think about again. You ever wonder why you have several of those buttons that all seem like they do the same thing? Well, that's because you're supposed to space them out over the course of a fight so the healers don't have to sacrifice their entire mana pool and firstborn child to get your frail ass through the dungeon. <laughs> Remember not to bust child. your tanking load all at once or else you're gonna feel a lot of shame when you're all out of juice and the boss still wants to go about four more rounds. Every tank also has a press X to not die button that can be used to survive any devastating attacks, or if you're a really aggressive paladin who drew every enemy in a dungeon ever and don't want the healer to hire a hitman on you. As for what your limit break does, <laughs> tanks are thicker than the average Disney mom, to the point your honky oh chonky God. donkey bahonky extends to the rest of the party, protecting them from damage up to a whopping 80% at LB3. The thing is, unless you're a high-end player, you'll probably be using tank LB as frequently as a good player rolls high on loot. Overall, you have four flavors to choose from. Punk, grunge, metal, and Christian rock. There's warrior for big axes, big anger, big <laughs> self-healing, and if you like to do fell cleaves, again and again. Again and again and again. <laughs> if you prefer more brooding than cruding, the Dark Knight is great for doing your best guts impression. You get a huge ass sword, goopy black energy particle effects, and the literal best mitigation you in the entire die, game. But it's balanced because they get the worst before. invulnerability. <laughs> I don't doubt it, Yomi. You press it, and then it makes you die. Gunbreaker is called a tank, but everybody knows it's just three DPS in a trench coat, as designated by the fact you get a fucking <laughs> gun and your DPS swings in a explode. Coat. <laughs> but you have to be a hardcore gamer since it requires a lot of cartridges. And finally, the Paladin, who tries to pretend they're a healer and caster, but only when the other healers and casters are looking. But fuck all that, because the most important thing is that you get the motherfucking sword and shield, baby! <laughs> Try getting behind this wall of holiness, bitch! Now you know how to play tank, you're welcome. Oh my god. That was epic. <laughs> oh my god. That was pretty damn good. That was pretty damn good. <laughs> I have a feeling... I'm gonna be seeing the a lot of more of this shit pop up in my like recommended now. <laughs> All these bits are great, by the way. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and give him a sub. Joe Cat, Joe Cat. Yeah, I'm gonna get and give that a sub. That was worthy of a sub. <laughs> oh my god. 
Should I do the DPS one too? And then we'll do uh the other ones. Uh, just go ahead and do the DPS one real quick. A crap guide to Final Fantasy fourteen DPS. Here we go. Everybody likes to do damage, and don't pretend like you don't, because I know you're lying. Otherwise, why would you be I'm playing still not RPG over the with outfit. core mechanics such as leveling up, getting stronger, and looking fashionable as fuck? It's to do massive <laughs> numbers on the other guys until their good. numbers are so small they match the PP size of anybody who doesn't commend at the end of a do. Oh my god, this picture right here is just... <laughs> I see it everywhere. Everywhere. I can't get away from it. Also, this, again... This right here is Final Fantasy. Face down, ass up. Duty. The other members leaving too quickly is no excuse. How do you expect to move quick enough to avoid AoEs if you can't even move quick enough to tell your allies they're doing a great job and that their glamour is sexy? Shit, is that bro. uncharacteristically <laughs> nice of me? Maybe, but it means I get to steal the LB3 from the only melee in the group. Welcome to a crap guide to Final Fantasy. Do the melee. Melee. Today I'm going DPS to be talking one. about every job. That's right. What, you thought only the DPS have to DPS? Boy, I could slap you with my overflowing glamour dresser. Damage is the name <laughs> of the game in Final Fantasy XIV, and the entirety of the game is designed around everybody dealing it, including the tanks and the healers. If the DPS rules are contributing 60% of the damage, tanks and healers are the ones who fill in the other 40. So if you don't contribute, you belong yeah. in the garbage chute. So don't get so hung up on the role names. Everybody, everybody is, is a DPS. DPS. What I mean specifically <laughs> is that one, not only is FF14 a cooperative game, which means anytime you waste is not only yours, but also anybody Ew, else in your as well. And two, yeah. every combat feature in FF14 is designed with dealing damage in mind. Healers and tanks get skills that actively promote doing more DPS. Hell, Sage is a healer whose skills actively benefit from doing DPS. And most importantly of all, Enrage. Enrage is what <laughs> happens when you overstay your welcome in a dungeon or boss arena and the residents have run out of things to talk about and are just really ready for you to leave so they can finally go poop without being worried that you're gonna steal all their old DreamWorks <laughs> DVDs. That is to say you're either when you forcefully can't pause kicked and out or gotta alternatively go. they instantly murder that number you. How do you this from happening? You murder them first, of course, and then you pop in a copy of Shrek 2 so you can watch the castle siege again. And guess what? The later and later in the game you get, the more and more frequent enrages start to appear. And they'll have more and more health too. So if somebody decides they just don't feel like they want to cooperate in this team game they decided to play and now the boss has an eighth of its health left and is about to destroy the entire universe, Princess Fiona isn't going to be the only one who will need a hero. Hopefully it's been drilled in your head now that DPSing is essential. Not just for the jobs with the title sticker, but also anyone in a fancy robe or edgy trench coat as well. Now that you know that, how does one go about dealing max the deeps? Coat the first most basic thing is to do your combo. Press a button. See another button light up? Press that one. Congratulations, you have successfully completed a combo. And doing so will reap a myriad of benefits from putting damage over time on your target, gaining mana, doing your taxes, or any variety of other additional effects. But mostly, it all achieves the same goal of dealing more damage. Secondly, you want to press these skills that the game labels as abilities and the community calls off global cooldowns, or OGCDs for short. More oh like OGCDs God. nuts! I personally call oh them free God. damage buttons. They cost you nothing and there's literally no reason not to press them while your normal cooldown is rolling. But this one has a long cooldown. What if I need it later? No, it doesn't. Shut up. The cooldowns in this game are so short, you might as well press them because by the time you need them again, whoop, they're back up. Not to mention, many <laughs> jobs require you to press those free damage buttons to unlock even spankier damage buttons. So use your goddamn free damage buttons. It's free damage. The next rule of <laughs> DPSing is knowing your ABCs. Always be casting. This means God, matching away the keyboard like a pickle monster working the double time. More specifically, it means that the best way to make sure you are doing the most damage that you can is to always case. have your global cooldown going. Even if it means accidentally pressing the wrong skill like the single brain cell that you are. Because if you're always <laughs> pressing buttons, even the suboptimal one, you are doing more damage than if you weren't. And doing damage is always better than not doing damage. <sighs> yes, even scathe. Here's a live example with my two subjects, Jan and Chloe. They both deal 1 million damage and suddenly the boss flies out of melee range. Jan sits there waiting patiently for the boss to return before she can start doing a million damage again. Meanwhile, Chloe is pressing the deal 1 damage at a range button the entire time they're waiting. I ask you, puny <laughs> viewer, which person is dealing more damage right now? Yeah, but it's only 1 damage. Who's dealing more damage? As if any fight is going to get so close <laughs> that dealing- Who is dealing more damage? <laughs> sure, it might not look like much, but it's going to matter when they fight the boss that has 3 million and 2 health and they wipe all because the other DPS decided they don't want to press buttons. It's such little DPS, it won't make a difference. Sure, Three million and now, two. one of the best things you should do to improve your damage in Final Fantasy XIV is this. It's really simple. I want you to lean in. It's a super simple thing. Here, come close. I'm going to say the thing. Oh Are you ready? Okay, oh here God. it goes. Read your <laughs> tips. 
The little box of text that literally tells you what your skills do. Honestly, read, you would be surprised bitches. how many people queue into read. an expert dungeon and never realize they have a skill that can attack multiple targets. Even all the things I tell you in this video, the combos, the range attacks, the AoE damage skills, the free damage buttons. The best way to know what your job is capable of is by reading your job skill tooltips yourself. So you better read your goddamn tooltips because if I see another player not knowing about their AoE combo and a mob pull at level 80, I'm going to grab the nearest Easter egg and bash you so hard you're going to be teleported to the final resting place of every ERP or is used undergarments. With all that oh out of the way, God. you think I covered everything you need to do to be that an ultimate a clear and badass, right? Unfortunately, not Waffle not Face, the because the final responsibility though. every single role in Final Fantasy XIV shares is not dying. Oh sure, the healers help, but most of the time your own survival is on you and only you. And that means making sure you do the fight mechanics and don't take avoidable damage like it's got the cheese touch. Oh, I'm sorry, are you in the middle of your cast? You want to try and hit that purple parse like the big man you are? That's too damn bad! <laughs> Each time you take damage that is avoidable, it means the healer has to heal you and they're dealing less damage. And on top of that, you get this cheese puff called a vulnerability stack. For each stack you have, you take more and more damage until you get one shot when the enemy farts in your general direction. All this to say, if you don't avoid enemy damage, you will not only make the healer do less DPS, but you're also likely going to die, which means zero DPS. And if you still think that's not a big deal and the healers can just res you, each time you die, you get a dunce cap of shame that reduces your DPS even more for about as long as a red light in Philadelphia. So you better stay alive oh, or else I'm gonna raise you so I can rescue you into an AoE and kill you myself. To recap, everybody's DPS matters. Press your free damage buttons. Always be casting. Read your tooltips. Stay alive. Like that'd be but even if you Yomi keep does. all those things in mind, the number one rule to improve your Revive DPS performance is to just practice. Like Striking dummies are all over the goddamn them. place, out in the overworld, and even in the yards of some random <laughs> people's houses in the residential enough. districts. So if you see one, there's no shame in whacking it a few times like you're auditioning to be a dominatrix. I'm sure the neighbors won't mind. Practice <laughs> makes perfect, and even all the foresight in the world will now fully translate into the doing. So go and do that doing so that one day you too can do the do and make everybody else look like doo doo because of how good your doing <laughs> skills are. And with how much doing do you'll be doing, maybe someday you too can clear an ultimate and get a shiny ass weapon of your own to show off the that people that at the limbs <laughs> you did, right oh Just my know God. the difference between an amateur and a master is that a master like, has failed way more times. Like, I can see it so clearly you doing wipe. it, too. Wait, <laughs> Congratulations, you're now better like at the game than yeah. you were five yeah. seconds ago. Ow. And now you know how to DPS, you're welcome. <laughs> oh, finally, my cue just popped. <laughs> No, one of the other party members withdrew. Ah, oh, fuck. Oh, I hated that. I hated that when I first started doing that. I hated that. I hated that so much. Ugh. Okay. The melee melee mulu DPS is the other one you wanted me to watch, right? Uh, wow. That's nine minutes and fifteen seconds, Jesus. That's how long it's one. <coughs> that we've watched so far. My Lay Day PS, here we go. Teach Everyone us always sensei. says you should be a team player, but honestly, I've always felt like the best way to help that the team outfit. is by crushing I'm just whatever not over obstacle it. that's in the way with my heavily toned squat receipt. So that's it. No more playing for anybody else. I play for me, that's baby. That's the kind Any of man Kini that my own is no longer my fault. I only exist to make big numbers fly towards <laughs> the screen and watch my skill bar light up like Rabbit a Christmas tree at a rave boy. party. And you bet your precious patoot, the progress preventers, will be promptly pounded because this potent projector of pain Needs will be peppering those that. pasties until your pack is paved with enough resulting pellets that every peddler will pray to be pampered by a more palatable. Pacifist. <laughs> Welcome to a crap guide to Final Fantasy. <laughs> so that was so much. That was so many. <laughs> Being a DPS is like being the king of capitalism, because the way you play, taking care of others is for bitches. Pay no attention to anybody else's well-being unless it directly affects you, and so long as you're alive and safe, you can act like anything bad that happens around <laughs> you is probably not your fault. All that brain power instead will be put towards what really matters, your complicated as shit damage rotation. That's right, step aside tanks 1, 2, 3, and healers 2 damage buttons. These are where the big guys and gals play. Or at least that's what they like to tell themselves, since one of the only party utilities they have to worry about is pressing the faint button once in a blue moon. Their hot bar will more often have dozens of buttons all dedicated to B. The melee DPS is the most important person in the party, as you are the one on the front lines inspecting the bad guy's anus like it's where all the Hrothgar hats are hiding while avoiding the enemy <laughs> sprays of hot poisonous gamer stain. Not only are you going to be up in their grill turning their cheeks into a ripe tomato while flip-flopping in and out of danger like you're a politician making pancakes, you're also going to make like an adult film star and learn positionals. Certain oh attacks in your damage rotation will require you to land them in specific areas around the enemy target, specifically around the rear that bar. and the flank in order to deal additional damage. How do you tell where those positions are? By the massive disembodied titty underneath the target. See this <laughs> 
people. That's the front where the tank will be sucking on the sweet milkies that are tank busters. Which obviously oh means God. this conspicuous ticulus on the opposite end is the rear. What about the flank? That'll be on either side of the enemy. And if you're ever confused as to where each area begins and ends, a useful tip on how to tell is imagine there's a big X dividing each of the quadrants. Or you could just press true north and pretend positionals don't exist like it's an embarrassing memory of that time you did the Gangnam Style at school on <laughs> The only time it isn't the case is when the enemy has a full ring without an opening. In which case you won't have to worry about any of that guff and you can just sit there like an off tank who's actually having fun. Otherwise, between <laughs> hopping back and forth in these two spots and running around catching up to the boss whenever the tank feels like doing cardio, your little wall's legs are gonna get so much working out that they'll be oh my God. the milk from the teats of a whale made of molasses. Which is to say, <laughs> expect to move. A lot. But what if I'm not oh in the right God. place for a position or the boss is far away? Just remember the old adage. Always be casting! <laughs> Even if you're not <laughs> able to thrust. land your positionals or if the boss is too far On away to make point. a melee attack, be sure to always be pressing your buttons no matter what. Unless you're a monk who has no ranged attack and you have to sit there thinking about how your job will inevitably be reworked yet again in the next patch. However, there is another <laughs> secret epic gamer option that allows you to maximize the DPS you output at the risk of yourself as well as potentially everybody else. But it's usually the healers. This technique <laughs> is called Greed. The funny thing about AoE markers in Final Fantasy XIV is that they only ever mark you for damage if you are standing in them the moment they go away. This means that if you're fast on your fingers, you can stand there DPSing the bad guy while soaking in their radioactive orange juice until the very last second where you backflip out just as the dropkick of doom skims your fuzzy anime hairs and you don't lose a second of uptime. As I said, however, this is a high risk. If your timing is off and you spend just a millisecond too long, you'll be covered in cheese puffs. You might even die. Or in some <laughs> cases, you'll have to suffer a fate worse than having to read the entire 24-hour chat log of Limza. <laughs> damage down. <laughs> it's okay, nobody's gonna take away your big damage numbers. Papa's here to make sure you don't greed too hard if you're not ready, okay? Okay. <laughs> As the melee DPS, you also have first dibs on limit break against most bosses since yours deals the most damage, specifically when they're single. This is because when you hit the limit break button, you're not actually attacking them, just showing them pictures of a happy, healthy relationship, and nothing hurts more than emotional damage. Just ask Ariange. Yeah. But what are Ariange. the individual <laughs> jobs whom of which Meleith said up close slappers oh, to no. their adversaries? There are five, and each one is a different flavor of anime and edge. Monk, for those of you who want to go fast. Having one of the shortest global <laughs> cooldowns in the game means you'll be dealing out punches like you're a pissed off caterer at a middle school sock hop. Instead of the traditional <laughs> combos, Jesus. each attack puts you in a specific stance. Bird, cat, and monkey. Each one combos <laughs> into another attack that benefits from each respective stance. Your rotation will be all about swapping stances around more than a kid trying sick moves to impress their crush at a middle oh school sock hop. You also have perfect oh balance, which allows you to go freestyle and pick whichever stance you're feeling more at the moment without having to do any of the normal stance setup. If you repeat the same stance three times during your freestyle, you get a purple token on your stylish moves punch card. And if you do three different stances during the freestyle, you get a white one. Do a freestyle with three unique moves one more time while you have both a purple and white tokens on your punch card, and you get to turn it in to make your crush dripping wet with damage because for some reason you get to kick them in the face. The only problem <laughs> is you are the only melee without a ranged attack to keep your uptime. And although you do have a dash that lets you zip around like Goku on a triple shot ristretto down blend macchiato, if ever you oh find yourself God. without a target to punch during combat, you can call time out on your buffs so they stop moving while you have a little cry because your crush rejected you at the middle school sock hop. Dragoon is probably the most straightforward of the <laughs> <laughs> I just have to say, like, I'm just trying to keep up with it, what he's saying, but I find it highly impressive how fast he's talking and saying everything, especially some of these words I know I would literally stumble and fall on my face trying to say melee classes than the one most likely to have a tragic backstory. You've got a five button combo that swaps between hard slaps and sakura flowers and a handful of buffs that will turn anybody else in the party into your partner in dragon slaying. What kind of dragon slaying? That's up for you to decide. Which oh you'll have God. plenty of time to do while you're suspended 20 moms in the air dropping in like a scantily clad human airstrike who's got a date with Nidhogg at five and a party at the quicksand at six. Yes, the Matanga <laughs> in the room. Dragoon has several damage dealing jumps necessary to unlocking special attacks in their rotation that will lock you into an animation. Which means you're stuck and unable to move out of your location uh, while the boss uh, is just about uh, ready to piss all over the floor right before you land. So be wary when using your jumps, lest you fling yourself right into a danger puddle and perpetuate the tired singular joke the 14 community has for the class. <laughs> On the right side, though, you do get the objectively best job mentor in the form of Oh my god! <laughs> Ninja is great for people who enjoy American football, because for every 10 seconds of excitement, there's a minute of fuck all. Your rotation is all about fitting every goddamn cooldown you can into a small window of time where you make the enemy take more damage, and on top of that, you also have the ability to live out every weeb's dream and do a bunch of hand <laughs> gestures to cast magic attacks, and also drop down into a low position and run with your arms flopping behind you in the breeze, which Final Fantasy objectively proves makes you go faster. You got three hand symbols, and depending on what order you do, you will make a different kind of anime reference. For example, going chi ten jin ten jin chi chi jin unlocks a secret dark ending of Cory in the house and causes the enemy
enemy to be susceptible to bonus damage. But maybe oh you're God. facing a mob of enemies who are immune to a rank powered life form. So you'll instead have to go ten jin jin chi jin chi jin ten chi jin ten chi for three oh seasons God, of so Sonic Underground, that which will saying keep that. I know. into their eyes with how fast they'll be running circles around the oh soul. Or less you'll have to do some studying up on what combos do what. But here's a secret cheat sheet. Only the final mudra in the sequence matters. <laughs> Fuck, it's the skill floor police! Cheese it! <laughs> Samurai, the job most likely to have a dick measuring contest with a black mage. I'd be careful though, their dad works at Square Enix. This weeb is the most <laughs> selfish of the melees as it provides no utility for the rest of the party and instead acts like the average soccer player, focusing on being the star of the show who gets all the attention, especially when it drops to the floor clutching its knee when somebody sneezes on them. Your attacks contribute to a kink bar, which allows you to shame the enemy in a variety of ways as your katana is also a substitute for a horny bat. So you remember how the monk has a punch card? Well, so do you, except yours is your sword and the punches are stickers. You have three basic combos each one giving you a slight buff and slapping a sticker onto your katana. And depending on how many stickers you have, you will get one of three different rewards when you turn in your sticker sheet. With one sticker, you'll apply a dot that'll last longer than it takes to clean your room. Don't lie to me, I know a majority of my audience has depression. Two stickers will charge up an <laughs> wow. AOE around you. And three I stickers feel will called make out. Wow. The tension. The tension. drama. Each sticker attack also gives you an additional separate sticker. And once you have three of those, you get to do an additional... <laughs> And finally, the Reaper, the transfer student from Garlemald who got the rest to mauled at the fact that they think they're better than the rest of the melees. Which I mean they are, but don't let any Reaper hear you say that. It'll go to their heads. Being the darkest of edges of melees means that your job gauge is the Dark Souls HUD. Similar to the Samurai, you build up a boy that can be spent on big slaps. And those big slaps give you edgy boy points that can be spent on additional big slaps. Except this time, they're Coral Blue number 5 semi gloss lipstick. Once you've kissed enough boys to build up your fashion bar, you get to turn into a spooky ghost. <laughs> <laughs> slice. You oh my god. Slice. Oh my god. Slice. I love this. I love this so much. You do the slice. It's just your soul that's the price. You do the slice. You do the spooky slice. And now you know how to play melee. You're welcome. <laughs> oh, I love that little song. The land was cold and the people scarred. They sought the void with a daring act. And howled themselves with the devious act. You do the slice. You, you do, do the, the slice. slice. The spooky, the spooky slice. slice. Now your swings have some spice. You do the slice. <laughs> it's just your soul that's the price. You do the slice. You do the spooky slice. Uh, do the healer one too? Oh my god. <laughs> We're gonna be here all night. <laughs> uh, wait, which one was it? Uh, did it show it? Oh, no. You do the slice. You do the spooky slice. Uh, you do the slice. Hold on. Yeah. No, yeah, it's not what I clicked it. Uh, healers, okay. There it is. Alright, last one. I love power and I love feeling powerful. It strokes my bigly wiggly and forces lesser beings <laughs> to bow wiggly. down to my oh awesome mic unless they taste my boot between their gums. Nothing has ever given me the same rush of adrenaline than knowing that everybody has to submit to my whims for their own safety. It makes my <laughs> brain do the goody good chemicals and allows me to feel as though I have control over this truly unfortunate reality that the universe is slowly careening into an eventual heat death and there's nothing anybody can do about it as we are inconsequential specks in this cruel and uncaring universe. But none of that matters because wow. look at this, I can pull my party members into a pit okay. that kills them. I find that hilarious. Welcome to a crap guide <laughs> to Final Fantasy.
Let's go healers. The greatest power of all is the power to have control over people's lives, which is why Can the healer is the most likely I, party member to yeah. have a god complex. Right behind main tanks, mentors, and anybody I'm still who's gonna an watch a, at least one of her videos. You are the person in the party, as you, along with the tank, are responsible for keeping the party alive by kissing their boo-boos and slapping the bitch who made the boo-boo. That's right, as a healer, you do have to deal damage as well. Me, but it's called a healer, and healers healer, are supposed you to heal You literally them right? while slapping them in the face. A healer's job is not necessarily to heal the party, but rather to keep them alive. And yes, there's a difference. There's gonna be a lot of downtime between heals, and you bet you're a flatus rumpus that you're making the fight take longer than it has to if you're just sitting there twiddling your thumbs waiting for your next chance to cast cure. What do you do when the party's full health? What do you do when the party's full health? Or even halfway up and standing? DPS the bad guys. No, I don't pay your sub. But when the fight takes too long, it starts to rub all up on everybody's nerves. And when you hit end game, it serves you right when the boss will wipe the party because you couldn't beat and rage. Sure, you're for the most part <laughs> keeping the party alive with a variety of healing, utility spells, some regen, some shields. But an equal amount of time you're casting those, you're also throwing in some extra DPS when time allows. Remember, DPSing is just mitigating future damage. And if you're able to kill the current wave of dungeon mobs before they deplete the tank's HP, which by the way is going to regen to full by the time you reach the next mob pull anyway, what does it matter how low their HP gets? So yes, DPS when time allows. When does time allow? Well, I know you're scared of independence and thinking by yourself, but that's going to be a balancing act you'll have to figure out. However, my rule of thumb is the minimum amount of HP a party member has to be at is one. But if that's too scary wary for your widow <laughs> fingies, ask yourself. Will the enemy's next attack make your party member fall on their ass? Scary if yes, wary. heal so that it doesn't. If no, time to become a glare mage, motherfucker. As long as they're alive and you're clearing the content, you're doing your job right. There is one caveat to doing your job right, and that's that everybody will hate you for it. Literally. By healing, you start to generate a lot of aggro from the bad guy. So if you ever decide to heal before mob pulls in dungeons, it's important to stick close to the tank like an ERP or sticks to Vieira's wearing 2B thigh highs. Especially oh if you God. throw on a region and suddenly 800 mobs crash through the wall with a how to fry fairy skull. You can still do it, but you should know what you're getting into. Like live streaming and hoping that anybody will watch. As for your limit break, we heard you like healing, <laughs> wow. so we put more healing in your healing Called so you can heal again. while you heal. Unfortunately, you won't be using any limit break aside from LB3 because LB1 and 2 just heal the party and you already have plenty of band-aids and popsicles to do that on your own. LB3, however, is so potent in healing it resurrects everybody in the party back from the dead instantaneously. But they will have to do the thriller afterwards, so it's best to be safe for when you at least have enough people to make a backup dancing crew. For the flavors of healer, we have three boomers and the new kid on the block who bought a three Glock and has a TikTok. The white mage is the most straightforward. You heal when a buddy is not hurt and you attack TikTok. when you're not. Just about everything in your arsenal is all oh, about feeding no. them so much it'll make an inflation artist blush in embarrassment. You're also equipped with the best AoE skill in the entire game and the ability to never run out of mana unless you're really, really bad. Best of all, when your buddies get hurt, you can heal them to harness their blood for the blood lily. But let's say you want to play white mage, but you like tarot readings and star signs like a suburban woman in her mid to late 20s. Oh my god! Is probably for you. you draw cards that will enhance the abilities of your women. party members you and you fill the like arena that? with enough space dust and constellations that you'll need five layers of sunglasses to see. Taking this job will also teach you how to build a bomb. Don't worry, it's friendly. Scholar is a weirdo who used to <laughs> hang out with all the bad DPS kids, but decided to turn their life around when they met a nice girl who supports them in their new hobby. Only problem is, she knows nothing about your hobby, and you have to keep correcting her on fandom trivia. They're all about putting <laughs> shields and defensive buffs that protect the party from taking damage in the first place. That way, they can guess what? DPS even more. Also, your girlfriend can get sick. And finally, the new kid on the block, the Sage. A scholar who decided to stop being nice and pick up a gun. That shoots laser! <laughs> like Scholar, they also put shields and protective buffs on their party members so they can spend more time shooting! Lasers. How do they do this? After seeing Alpha No change to the job, my guess is the Nullists are liquefied carbuncles. Rest in peace, Carby. Oh my god! And now you know how to play no. healer, you're welcome. Oh god! Someone take the blender away from him. <laughs> oh my god. These were hilarious. I enjoyed those. I enjoyed those quite nicely.